How to speak in tongues? This video answers the following questions about the gift of tongues. What is the gift of tongues? Is the gift of tongues available to everyone? Is the gift of tongues controllable? Is the gift of tongues the only evidence that one has been baptized in the Holy Spirit? What are the purposes of the gift of tongues? What is the gift of tongues? 1. The definition of the gift of tongues will help us begin to answer this question. Definition. The gift of tongues is a form of spiritual communication with God that originates in our spirit, is controlled by our will, is directed by the Holy Spirit, is normally unknown to the speaker, and leads to our edification. Can I have your attention for a few seconds? Before we delve deep into this video, please help us spread the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ by supporting our Patreon page at www.patreon.com slash You will instantly gain access to over 180 Christian videos and over 400 videos about billionaire biographies and over 140 personal development videos and over 450 verse and quotes images among other goodies. If you are watching this video and you have never received Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior, I'll help you do that right now because it is for this very purpose that we create these videos. Giving your life to the Lord is the best decision you can ever make in your entire life on earth. I invite you to make Jesus your Lord today. In Romans 10 verse 9 the Bible says that, If thou confess with thy mouth that Jesus is Lord, and believe in thine heart that God raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. Please, pray this prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, I believe with all of my heart that Jesus is Lord. I believe that he died on the cross and that on the third day God raised him from the dead. I believe that Jesus is the Lord of my life from this day onward. I'm now born again. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Well done for making this prayer. You are now born again. Attend a Bible-based church and subscribe to our YouTube channel and support us on Patreon to keep learning the truth of God's word as you become an excellent Christian every day. Our Patreon page is www.patreon.com slash link is also in the description. Let's continue with our today's topic. 2. The gift of tongues is a form of spiritual communication with God. When we pray in tongues, we are communicating with God on a spirit-to-spirit -spirit basis, 1 Corinthians 14 verse 2. The words we speak are deeper than our native language they are spiritual words, Romans 8 verse 26. Praying in the spirit is a form of communication that transcends human words and is much deeper. 3. The gift of tongues originates in our spirit. When we are born again, the Holy Spirit comes to reside in us, causing our spirit man to come alive, Romans 8 verse 9 to 11. As a born again, baptized in the Holy Spirit believer, God has energized my spirit. Therefore, when I pray in tongues, I am speaking a spiritual language that originates in my inner man and is empowered by the Holy Spirit, 1 Corinthians 14 verse 15. The gift of tongues is our spirit language, given as a gift by God. 4. The gift of tongues is controlled by our will. We have control over the gift of tongues, 1 Corinthians 14 verse 15 to 19. We decide when to release our gift of tongues, how loud to speak it, and when to stop. We control how and when to use it. 5. The gift of tongues is directed by the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit directs the gift of tongues. As we begin to speak in tongues, the Holy Spirit guides us to pray or speak what God desires in a certain situation. When we pray in tongues, we yield to the Holy Spirit and allow him to pray through us whatever he wishes, Romans 8 verse 26 to 28. 6. The gift of tongues is normally a language unknown to the speaker. Even though the gift of tongues originates from our spirit, we normally do not know what we are speaking. There are rare occasions when we know what is said. Paul deals with this topic extensively in 1 Corinthians 12 to 14. The gift of tongues could be either an angelic or a human language, 1 Corinthians 13 verse 1. The language is normally unknown to the speaker. Paul made this clear when he wrote, For one who speaks in a tongue does not speak to men but to God, for no one understands, but in his spirit he speaks mysteries, 1 Corinthians 14 verse 2. 7. Using the gift of tongues leads to our edification. Notice what Paul says about tongues and our personal edification. One who speaks in a tongue edifies himself, 1 Corinthians 14 verse 4. When we pray in tongues, our spirit prays while our mind is inactive, this puts our mind at rest silencing the lies, anxieties, and limited understanding that regularly bombards us. It also builds, nurtures, and strengthens our spirit, resulting in increased faith and intimacy with God. Is the gift of tongues available to everyone? 1. There are different answers to this question. Our answer to this question is an emphatic yes. The gift of tongues is available to every born-again believer who desires it. Some have debated this position by using 1 Corinthians 12 verse 30. It reads, all do not have gifts of healings, do they? All do not speak with tongues, do they? All do not interpret, do they? 2. Explaining 1 Corinthians 12 verse 30. 
Throughout 1 Corinthians 12-14, Paul made a clear distinction between the public and private use of tongues. The public use of tongues intended for the corporate gathering should be accompanied by an interpretation in order to edify the people. When this happens, it is equivalent to prophecy. On the other hand, the private use of tongues is a form of spiritual communication with God that nurtures and strengthens the spirit of the one who is praying. Not everyone is gifted to move in the public delivery of a tongue's message. Paul valued the gift of tongues very highly. In 1 Corinthians 14 verse 18, Paul thanked God that he spoke in tongues more than all of the Corinthian believers. The individual use of the gift of tongues, also called the prayer language or praying in the spirit, is intended for every believer. Paul wanted everyone to speak in tongues. In 1 Corinthians 14 verse 5, Paul stated his desire that everyone spoke in tongues. He also urged believers to earnestly desire all of the gifts, 1 Corinthians 12 verse 31, 1 Corinthians 14 verse 1. In 1 Corinthians 14 verse 13, he even told them to ask God for a gift of the Spirit that they did not have. He said, therefore let one who speaks in a tongue pray, that he may interpret. Now if all of the gifts including tongues were not available to every believer, why would Paul admonish us to desire these gifts? If these gifts were not available to us, Paul would create an enormous amount of frustration by exhorting us to pursue something that we could not have. Paul's main point is to describe the differences in the body of Christ, not to exclude certain believers from operating in the gift of tongues. 3. Other evidence that tongues is available to all. To further make the case that everyone can speak in tongues, remember Jesus' words of Mark 16 verse 15 to 19, where he says that they will speak with new tongues. In the four sections in the book of Acts that offer the clearest view into the baptism of the Holy Spirit, speaking in tongues is the most common evidence that people received the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Acts 2 verse 1 to 4. Acts 8 verse 5 to 18. Acts 10 verse 44 to 48. Acts 19 verse 1 to 7. Important. The gift of tongues is available to every born-again believer who desires it. Is the gift of tongues controllable? 1. The gift of tongues is controllable. The public use of tongues is given as the Spirit wills, 1 Corinthians 12 verse 11. Even though this is true, the gift of tongues does not just erupt from within our spirit. We have the ability to control it. 2. The individual gift of tongues must be released also. It is our gift of tongues and we must initiate it. Both the first time we use it and each time thereafter, the exercise of the gift depends upon our activation, 1 Corinthians 14 verse 14 to 15. Important. We activate both public and private tongues. However, the Holy Spirit initiates the use of public tongues, while we initiate the use of private tongues. Is the gift of tongues the only evidence that one has been baptized in the Holy Spirit? 1. Important truths to consider in answering this question. We must grasp the concept that the gift of tongues is not a test or a sign that one has received the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Rather it is a valuable tool to assist us in doing the work of ministry. It is a tool that is available to all who have asked for and received the baptism of the Holy Spirit. We can use this tool in prayer, in our devotional life, and in ministry to others. God didn't give us tongues just to confirm that we have the baptism of the Holy Spirit. He gave us a valuable tool that empowers us as his witnesses in the earth. What are the purposes of the gift of tongues? 1. The gift of tongues is a means of spirit-led prayer. In Ephesians 6 verse 18, we are told to pray in the Spirit at all times. The Spirit-led prayer, also called praying in the Spirit, is a prayer that is anointed by the Holy Spirit in accordance with the will of God. There are two primary ways to pray in the Spirit. We can hear from the Lord what His will is and pray with our mind. We can use our gift of tongues, allowing the Holy Spirit to direct our prayers. 2. The gift of tongues helps us pray when we lack direction. We all find ourselves in situations where we don't know what to pray, Romans 8 verse 26 to 28. The Spirit knows how to pray and will pray through us according to the will of God. Praying in the Spirit allows this to take place. 3. The gift of tongues helps us receive revelation knowledge from God. True wisdom from God is often concealed in mysteries. The deeper things of God are very often hidden to the natural mind and can only be perceived through revelation knowledge. Paul told the Corinthians that the hidden mysteries of God are only revealed to us through the Spirit, 1 Corinthians 2 verse 6 to 11. Praying in the Spirit connects our spirit to God's and from this union, the Holy Spirit unlocks the mysteries of God to us. God opens up the Bible and the Spirit realm to us as we use our gift of tongues. 4. The gift of tongues builds us up in strength and faith. Two scripture verses that show us this truth. 1 Corinthians 14 verse 4. View 20 to 22. The gift of tongues is a wonderful tool that helps build us up in the Holy Spirit. It gives us fresh strength when we are weak. It releases new passion within us when our love for God is growing cold. When we feel impatient or doubt attacks, it energizes our faith and helps us continue on in God. 5. 
The gift of tongues helps us exalt God. The baptism of the Holy Spirit and the gift of tongues produce a greater desire in us to worship and exalt God. Acts 10 verse 45 to 46. Ephesians 5 verse 18 to 20. 1 Corinthians 14 verse 15. The fullness of the Spirit within us gives us desire to worship and the gift of tongues gives us a tool for worship. Many times, singing in the Spirit enables us to express what we feel to God, especially when we are worshiping God and don't know what to say or how to say it. 6. The gift of tongues empowers us in spiritual warfare. Ephesians 6 verse 18 exhorts us to pray in the Spirit at all times in the context of spiritual warfare, Ephesians 6 verse 12. There are two Greek words for time. Chronos means a space of time. Hyros means an opportune or strategic time. We are to pray in the Spirit at those strategic opportune times when the spiritual battle intensifies. Praying in tongues also activates angels for spiritual warfare. 7. The gift of tongues helps increase the amount of time that we pray. Paul tells us to pray without ceasing. Most of us run out of words to pray in a very short time. By praying in tongues, we can persevere in prayer even when we don't know what else to pray for. Conclusion. The baptism of the Holy Spirit and the gift of tongues are important gifts that help us hear the voice of God. Remember, in the book of Acts, the baptism of the Holy Spirit and the gift of tongues activated believers in the hearing and speaking gifts. We can hear God without these valuable tools. However, they are extremely important aids that help us in the pursuit of His voice. Begin to use your gift of tongues more often so that you can be more effective, bold and confident in hearing God's voice. Can you please do us a favor? If you have been blessed by this video, please leave a comment, like this video, share this video, subscribe to this channel, and invite at least 200 plus souls, it could be family and friends, to visit Discofeth YouTube channel so that they may hear the gospel of our dear Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and be born again. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and support us on Patreon. Our Patreon page is www.patreon.com slash Link is also in the description. Thank you and God bless you.